Good day, Minecraftians. Purple Mentat here, bringing you a little something different. I'm in an agrarian skies test world. Just loaded everything up. Wanted you to see that I am in the same pack that you're used to. Agrarian skies 3.1.1 at this point. Uh, so I had a bit of an issue with some real life stuff and some hard drive stuff over the weekend. Lost a whole bunch of footage. I'm putting the pieces back together and recovering as best I can. But for right now, I wanted to show you this little test that I'm doing on using a sieve with an autonomous activator. And there's been enough discussion about this in various episodes that I assumed you guys would kind of enjoy this. So I have a whole bunch of sieve stations set up just flow with water flowing into an item collector, feeding into the crystal chest just to get rid of everything. Actually, I might, I might even replace those with some trash cans because the chest, the results of the sieving are just not the important part. You know what? Yeah, let me alter things. Be right back. All right, that's a little bit better. Got the viewing platform on the side that matters now. So the output is irrelevant here because what I'm testing is how fast a variety of autonomous activators can actually move their way through a barrel full of gravel. And I have autonomous activators here ranging from one two, three, four, all the way up to nine, all pointed at a single sieve. The ones up top are pointed down. The ones in the ground are pointed high. So I'm going to go over here, and when I flip this lever, these item ducks are going to start putting outputting into this autonomous activator, which is going to start putting things into the sieves. As you can see, everything's running now. The sieves are moving. Over here, of course, is moving a whole lot faster. And I'm going to let this run through all 64 stacks. I'll come back as they start to empty out, and we can see when we can see which one is clearly ahead. But I think that we're going to find that the exact number that is ideal for the autonomous activators at this point to find out just how many you should be looking to put on each sieve. So, see you soon. Hey folks, doing a quick check-in at the 20 minute mark. If I take a look at the one activator, I can see there's still 62 stacks left in here. That's not moving very fast at all. As I go down, the two's at 60, the three's at 58, the four also at 58, five is at 56, and the six is at 55. And then so are the seven, eight, and nine. Going above six activators does not seem to be gaining me any speed, as they are all at almost the exact same level. But we're going to give this at least enough time to get, uh, oh, half of the barrel cleared out. So, get things rolling again. See you soon. Alrighty, folks. The maximum number, well, the largest collection of autonomous activators on a sieve is down to 32 stacks with a little leftover. As you can see, 9, 8, and 7 all have, uh, oh, and 6, all have 32 stacks with about 26, 25 extra. Then as you go up to 5, your is 3 stacks behind, 4 is 10 stacks behind. 3 and 4, oddly enough, have almost the exact same number of materials in them. And I can show you that 3 is configured properly as is four, so there's no good reason for them to be operating at the exact same level. But they are. A little bit of idi idiosyncrasy, I guess. You're better off starting another sieve with your fourth autonomous activator than throwing it onto the, uh, the one that you already have three on. Strange. Honestly, like, I can't figure this one out. It's not making any sense. Hmm, you know what? Maybe. That's not pointed in? No, it is. Okay, so yeah, there's just no good reason for it. No good reason at all. So, 4 operates exactly the same as 3, but 5 and 6 are significantly better than 4 or 3. In fact, if I take a look at 3, being that it is about 10 stacks behind the 6, it's not exactly... This isn't exactly tr getting through double. It's done about 32, where this is done about 22. Well, actually, that is close to 50% extra. Now, the 2 has only gotten through about 14, and the 1 has only gotten through about 8. 
So if you're looking for maximum efficiency per autonomous activator, you're probably looking at three activators on your sieve. And at that point, you're probably going to want to set up a second or a third if you want to move through the maximum amount of gravel in the minimum amount of time. However, this is also clearly showing that this has handled eight. Adding one has only handled six more. Adding one more has handled eight more. So technically, a single autonomous activator per sieve is going to do better at handling large quantities of gravel. Now, for me, that's not very space efficient and it's going to cause a lot of, I feel like it's going to cause a lot more server lag and other nastiness than just going straight for the six. But there's your results. There is absolutely no point in going above six autonomous activators. Seven, eight, and nine activators, even configured properly to aim low, are all experiencing the exact same throughput as six. So you cap at six, but it looks like you actually get the best efficiency in terms of pure speed if you can set up the supporting systems for it with just one activator per sieve. If you're looking to minimize your footprint, but maximize throughput per sieve, you're probably looking at three. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this little experiment and tiny uh, sieve autonomous activator tutorial. See you in the next mod tutorial.